Well, hi everybody, this is Garrett here with 11 Bang Bang. Today we have the Cimarron Thunderer. And I wanted to bring this out just to show kind of what it's like. I already have a video up on thoughts on the Thunderer where I compare it to an original uh, Colt Thunderer. And of course the original is double action. This is single action. This one is in 45 with a three and a half inch barrel. Uh, it is not an original in any way, shape, or form. Doesn't even come close to it. But what it is is its own beautiful thing for carrying on horseback. This bird's head grip is a wonderful thing as far as the feel. It has the short three and a half inch barrel and in 45 Colt, it is very formidable. So let's take a few shots of this thing. Thunder for the thunder. And click. All right. I was overcompensating a couple times there. I'm used to holding a little low. This gun's pretty well right on up right, and down. So we're going to go ahead and unload here. And as you can see, the short barrel on the thunderer doesn't kick shells all the way out. Sometimes you get lucky and they fall out, but not these because they're a little dirty. That kicks them about halfway out, and then you just pluck them out with your hands. It's not necessarily a hurry, but you shouldn't have to be in a hurry probably with this gun. All right, let's get a few more rounds out here. We're going to load it to cowboy load. Load one, skip one, load four more. Half five. All right, let's shoot some stuff. Down on an empty. <laughs> there we go. Right through her. Damn, that thing might elude me. There we go. And click. Now, historically, this bird's head grip was on the 1877 Lightning and Thunderer and the 1878 Double Action. And if you watch my video I had out before on thoughts on the Cimarron Thunderer, you will see that this is actually closer to what we would think of as a bulldog nowadays. But like I said, with this three and a half inch barrel and this grip, it is one of the handiest little carry guns. I even carry it sometimes inside the waistband concealed can't even hardly tell it's there and you have a full powered 45 Colt at your disposal. Let's shoot some more. There's some real lightning going on out here. It is a little more difficult to shoot the three and a half inch barrel with the four and three quarters tell you that right now but it's not terrible especially on a man-sized target wouldn't be that bad especially if I practice with it a little more That was almost embarrassing. Alright, so we ran quite a few smokeless through her. We can say we load up and we uh, attack the ghost of Cowboy Bob with 40 grains of the Holy Black, otherwise known as the Plow Boys Ghost Load. Most of the hair black powder. There we go. These are the plow boy loaders now. They're really hot black powder around. Oh, yeah. They were really moving on around. All right, let's load up one more time, then we'll be done. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, guys, that's all we have for the Cimarron Thunderer. It's a great gun. It's, it's a little difficult to shoot as far as accuracy wise, but we're practicing and a little practice, it'll get better and better. But uh, you know, it is a Colt style gun, just like this one. And Colt style guns are just hard to beat. Dude. All right, but as far as the Thunder is concerned, it's easy carry, great for horseback, a lot of power in a little package. No, it's not like the original, but like I said, it's its own beautiful thing. And if you're gonna carry one of these cross draw, it's it's just it's a great thing to carry, easy to conceal. Anyway, the hail's really starting to come down on us now, guys. So trust in God, keep your powder dry. Bye.